splash zone. At zero. Here he comes. He's gonna do it. Oh! He's gonna do it. Oh! I got that. What's up, guys? My name is Emily. My name's Amanda. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. We are going to Robbie's Marina in Isla Mirada. And we are going, I'm sure you've heard of it, but if you haven't heard of it, it is this marina on the side of the road <laughs> in the keys which i guess all the marinas are on the side of the road in the keys but they have tarpon there and you can feed the tarpon and i'm not talking like oh we're gonna feed like some fish we're not no gonna, we're gonna we're, like we're not gonna feed fish flakes like, we're, we're straight feeding up feeding 100 pound fish mm -hmm. by hand by hand with our hands with our hands <laughs> Robbie's science. It is so busy guys. This is a must stop place. If you are in the Keys and it's too windy to go fishing, you gotta stop here. Check this out. Amanda, get in front of it. Smile for the camera. We're gonna take you guys with us. You're gonna see Robbie's, see what there is to they offer. They also have this little like, they have these little, what are they called? Stands with like shops, shops that you can get little art things and I mean trinkety gifts, but they also have, um, I don't know if they're here today, but sometimes they have an artist here that sells lobster trap frames. They take actual lobster traps and refurbish them and turn them into picture frames. They're super pretty. I love them. We have a ton of them all over our apartment. And if they're here, I would recommend getting one and checking them out. But if not, there's a lot of local artists and a lot of local work here. So it's also cool just to come and check that out too. <laughs> Your eyes need to be further apart for that. How about that? <laughs> I think before we go feed these fish, let's check out these shops. Let's see if we can find some lobster trap art. I know that they have hermit crabs. I see a sign that says hermit, hermit crabs. crabs. They have hermit crabs. Want to go see the hermit crabs? Let's go see the hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are one of our pets when we were children. Oh yes, we, we totally had, had we hermit had hermit crabs. crabs. We had fish tanks. We had it all. But we had a snake. Crabs. We had a snake. His well, name was Flynn. His name was. He was an albino corn snake. I found the hermit crabs. The hermit crabs. I think they're underneath there. Oh, I see one. Where? The, the. Oh yeah, the red. Cell. The red. You can see flag. the foot. Let's see if we can see the foot for you guys. Right there. See that foot in there? The leg. The hermit crab leg. Look at it's a crocodile shell. It's a crocodile. We got a Nemo shell. So if you buy a hermit crab, you can buy them by the shells. shells. Honestly, if we didn't travel as much as we did. I would totally have. Hermit crab. We are trying to get a saltwater aquarium fish tank. We really want one, but we travel so much, so we're kind of trying to wait till maybe we slow down with our traveling a little bit. I'm not really sure when that's going to happen, but if we want to get a saltwater fish tank. I would love to get an aquarium. We already have two cats that we throw on our parents, the cats that every time we leave. <laughs> like we're leaving for in a week to go to Boston, and our parents are going to be watching our cats for like nine days. Like, sorry, <laughs> sorry, mom and dad. Like, I love you. Here's the hermit crab too. Now. Here's the hermit crab. Amanda. There's, yeah. There's shave ice. There is. Let's Where? get a snow cone right here. Look at this. Aww. This is new. I've never seen this before. So we found some local art. As you can see, this is handmade fish art out of metal. But I noticed this pulling the flat piece of art. And where is the ponytail? And where is the ponytail? There's no, There's no ponytails. ponytails or braids. Come on, like ladies. Do we There's... got a lady diver right behind oh, you? Oh, we do. OK. A lady diver. Got a lady diver. That counts for something, right, Amanda? Counts for something. I like this mahi. Big mahi, big bull mahi, chasing some flying fish. We've got, ooh, we got a swordfish up here. We got jellyfish. Look at this lionfish up top, guys. What else do we have? We have hammerhead shark, hogfish.
did not find the lobster trap art. I'm kind of sad about it. But keep in mind, there is actually a store in the Keys now called, they have their own store. It's Lobster Trap Art Store. We'll look it up and put the information I'll put the information in the, in the box. box. It's really cool and a place worth stopping at. But let's check out. I got my bait. Got your bait. Got my bucket of bait. It's only $4. $4 for the two of us to come in here with a bucket of bait. It's super affordable. It's a great thing to do when it's windy or blowing or for us, we are actually on our way to Boston right now. So we're driving from Big Pine to uh, Fort Lauderdale to fly out to Boston because we are gonna be going bluefin tuna fishing in Boston this coming week. So we're gonna have a series of bluefin tuna Boston fishing videos. We're really excited about Michael Striper bass fishing. I'm not exactly sure everything we're doing yet, but we're very excited about that. So we're on our way up from Big Pine to Fort Lauderdale. We said, let's stop at Robbie's and feed the tarpon. Look at how massive this fish is. Like, I hope you can see how massive they are because... I mean, these fish are... They look like dinosaurs to me. When fish get, like, this size and their scales are that big, I literally think of dinosaurs. Don't you think of dinosaurs? Yes. I actually caught a, like, 100-plus pound tarpon. The first tarpon I ever caught was 100-plus pounds, and it was insane. It was one of the coolest things I ever did. It was nighttime. It was dark. I'll have some pictures pop up. And to see them during the day like this, it just shows how much how big they are. At night, it was dark, but during the day... Should I feed the first bait? Go for it. Okay, if I hold the bait over, over the water, are you I guarantee gonna, you, look at all the tarpon's it. heads. Look at, look at that one. His head's coming out. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Watch them. Their heads are going to come out. Watch their heads. Watch these, their these heads come are out. So smart. And the closer I get, one guy might get curious and decide to make that jump. Ready? We're going to just drop one and see how quickly a tarpon. Oh, look at that one. Look at that one. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna drop one and see how quickly. Oh, look, there's a nurse shark. Oh, it's a nurse hey, shark. Buddy. She's a nurse shark. You wanna eat it? He wants it. Okay, I'm gonna drop this and see how quickly it you gets eaten. Eat. Ready? Set. Holy oh. cow! Set. Oh. Holy cow! <laughs> I jumped. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was not I knew, ready it was, for I knew that. it was coming. I knew it was coming. And I, I still jumped. jumped. <laughs> I was not ready for that. I didn't even get a chance to drop it in the water. It didn't even hit the surface of the water and it got eaten. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, round two. Feed the nurse shark. Come on, nurse shark, eat it. Oh, he did it. Eat it. I got it. it. Set him. The nurse shark got food. The nurse shark got food. There's like water on my face from that splash. That splash. This is a splash zone, kind of like when you go to SeaWorld and the orcas, but tarpon splash zone. <laughs> okay, I vote let's throw one out. I'm gonna throw one out. Let's okay. See how quickly. Okay. I'm gonna throw it out kind of far. Okay. So just focus on the water. Okay. Ready? Ready. I'm gonna try to throw it past the tarpon. Got it. Yeah. These guys are trained. They know what they're doing. Oh, 100%. Ready for the next one? I'm ready. What are you doing with this one? I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'm going to hold it over the side and wait and see who comes up to eat it. Oh, he missed it. Oh, he somebody missed else it. got it. Got it. Come on. I'm going to hold it low. It's going to be scary. Low. Get ready. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Touch me. He touched you. Touch my thumb. He touched your thumb. <laughs> he like ate my hand. Like, yeah. that was wow. These guys. <laughs> Our rest, I really hope I'm not blowing out the mic every time I squeal because. Whew. Ready? Emily's turn to feed the tarpon. I'm feed the tarpon. How are you gonna do it? I'm not sure. Fun fact, guys, my first tarpon that I ever caught was actually in Island Morada. And I caught two when I went out. The first one was over 100 pounds easily, but we never got a good picture with it at the boat. We did get the leader grab, so it was considered a catch, but it broke at the leader. However, that same day I caught another maybe 60 pounder where I got a good picture of it at the boat. It was really epic. We'll have to put that video in the description box. We fished with Captain Charles on Takizi Charters. If you guys want to catch tarpon, he's the tarpon man. Next one. Next, this is the... <laughs> you gotta hold on to it. You can't spook. Okay. 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 Hold on to it. Hold on to it till they grab it. Nope. See, they're yep. not you gotta wait. Oh, this is really terrifying. It is terrifying. You gotta wait though. You gotta wait. <laughs> <laughs> he touched me. <laughs> that one leaped. <laughs> that was epic. That, one that was totally epic. <laughs> that one leaped. Okay. I don't know about you, Amanda, but I think I want to get another bucket. <laughs> Let's go get another bucket. bucket. Second bucket of bait. I am going for it. I'm leaning over the dock. Kind Here we go. Freaking out. Here we go. Okay. Okay. A little lower. Lower? Lower. How lower. low? Lower. Lower? There. Like there? No way for him to take it. It's for him to take it. Oh. 
Wow. That I was, was just insane. scared the whole thing. I had to drop it. You went so fast. Did you see that? I totally saw it. I said, I can't He's looking at you. He's looking. He's like, hey, I need my thing. I want one now. Round Three. two. Holding my bait over the water and praying that they don't attack me. <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Lower. <laughs> This takes some real guts to try and put your hand over and not freak out when the fish comes at it. Okay. Do it. I'm pretty scared. This is pretty terrifying. <laughs> I feel like I should just like close my eyes and not look. <laughs> Splash zone. Here he comes. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I got that. That was intense, guys. We really hope you liked watching that. But first of all, before we really end this video, I want to say thank you to all of our new subscribers. There are so many new ones here. I mean, we're just blown away. Literally, we had 13,000 subscribers last week, and now we have 20,000. So we're so appreciative that so many of you guys are new here and you enjoy your videos. If you are new, go ahead and comment and say, hey, I'm new, love your video, or just let me know that you're new. We are trying our best to answer our comments and answer our messages, but it's blowing up and we're just so appreciative. So we just wanna say thank you, guys. If you're new, let us know what do you, what you wanna see. What do you wanna learn? What fun stuff do you wanna see? Um, we like to do some educational videos like how to dock a boat and we also like to travel or go to Robbie's and we have a trip to Boston I already mentioned that coming up that will be a fun series of bluefin tuna fishing and then we will also be doing things like coming and feeding tarpon and more educational anchoring videos fishing videos so let us know what you guys want to see we're so appreciative that you're all here thanks so much for watching guys don't forget follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Facebook Instagram, Instagram YouTube. YouTube like and subscribe for more guys